Type on a path is one of those things in InDesign that can be helpful whether you're creating a flyer, poster, album cover art, or a feature story layout. So go ahead and go to File New, Document, and then Letter Size is fine for this example, and click on the Pen Tool. You'll see it right over here on the Tools panel. And I have another lecture that goes more into detail on this, but for this example, we just need to create a curved line. So click and let go, so don't click and drag for the first point. So we've set a point, and then click and drag, and then click and drag over here. So by default, I don't have a fill or a stroke. The stroke is the border, and then the fill is just the, the inside of it. So if I added one, I'll show you what it looks like here. So it kind of fills in. If we created, if we kept going and created a shape, you know, it would, it would uh, close it out there. But we don't want to fill with this example, so we set the fill to none right here. I actually just flipped those. And then if you have a stroke, if we do want a line underneath it, you can add one. You could do like 10 up here or whatever, or you could do zero point if you don't want anything there, or just set it to none. So either way, I think usually we don't want a line underneath this if we just want type on a path. So what we need to do is click and hold onto the type tool and then you want to select the type on a path tool. Then hover over anywhere on this path and then just click and then we can type in the text. This is a feature story title. So press control A to select it all. Make it larger so you can see here. So there you go. You can still push this over so if you like that, you can use a space bar and move it along that path. So this creates a more creative layout for text, and the text can become part of the layout and the design. Type on a path can be used for more than just the pen tool, though. Any path that we create, we can uh, add a type on a path to it. So the ellipse tool, for example, if I just click and drag out, I hold shift for a perfect circle. That's if you click and hold onto the rectangle tool and then choose the ellipse tool. Then same thing, we want to go to type on a path and then hover over, which all has that little plus sign, and then click, and then, and there you go. Now what if you wanted this on the bottom? Well, let me select it a little bit. I'm going to zoom in too so you can see it better. So I'll make this maybe 18 points, something like that. All right, so if I move this around with the black arrow, which is the selection, it just moves it around as an object. If I use the white arrow though, if I clicked right there, you could change the path, but I don't want to do that. On this, I just want to move this around without having to use a space bar. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So what you want to do is see where it, you hover over the beginning of the text. It turns in that little symbol with the arrow. You can click and drag that around, and it sets the beginning and the end point of where the text would be. And you can also, if you see this one on the opposite side over here, if you click and drag that around, you can move that as well, and it takes a little bit of experimentation, but you can bring it on the inside as I did right there. I'm going to bring this over a little bit like that. So now it's not on the outside, it's on the inside, and it's along the bottom. So just different ways. And if you want it back on the outside, you can just click and drag it out to the outside. So that's with the white arrow, just clicking, holding right on this line here, and we can rotate it around the shape. So that's type on a path.